but i can't see here people joined okay we'll just see we will wait for 2 3 more minutes since everybody joins by the time and then we will start the quiz मैम यू आर ऑन म्यूट ओके आई एल कम अगेन फॉर दिस so uh, once you click on joinmyquiz.com and enter this code you will land on to this page and you have to add your name here whatever name you want to join the quiz as so there is no problem if you join with some other name this quiz that is perfectly okay then you click on this start button and once i start from here then you will be able to participate in the quiz so this is the joinmyquiz.com 899449 is the code uh shall we start nidhi or shall we wait for some more participants to join the meeting mm i think we can start almost uh, all the participants have joined only few are left okay maybe in a minute we can then start no problem everyone who have not joined this quiz please click on joinmyquiz.com then enter this code 899449 once you do this you will be reaching to this page and you have to add your name and then start the quiz so i hope with this hope that most of the participants have joined in the quiz because i'm not refreshing the page if any default occurs so we'll see how many participants have joined this particular quiz so now i'm starting
participants have joined from 157. So everybody is requested to please join the quiz.
quiz rest all of these complete fast it will give you all to three minutes
but we can definitely see the progress of all the participants who have joined the quiz. You can also conduct using this platform in your classroom. So now we will see here, this is the percentage, uh, score percentage here, uh, who have done the quiz, how many wrong, how many right answers are there. Everything is uh, given here. You can see all the questions and uh, how people have performed over the questions. Through this, a teacher can also analyze which question is becoming difficult for all the students. So we will see which is answered easily by all and correctly. That means that's an easy question. And the question which is mostly by red, like question 28, seems to be a difficult question to me because most of you have marked it wrong. Only five or four participants could mark it correctly. So this way we can also analyze our questions and we can see the scoring and we can also export this uh, data sheet uh, this full report for our further use as a teacher. So this was uh, it and you can assign it as a homework also or you can also uh, conduct it with the teacher space. Right now I did not conduct it with the teacher space because then if you miss one particular question then you won't be able to answer it. Uh, again, if we skip that question then you won't be answer it. Uh, again for uh, others. So I have kept it on your page so that once you join, you start doing the quiz. If I would have done it on instructor page, then it would have started together and ended together, even though it has happened now also, but the questions were moving at your pace. So that's the benefit. In the, in the instructor page, each question appears on the screen, like on my screen also that which question is moving and how, at what time I'm going to close that particular question. So you can use that type of uh, presentation also for this quiz that the question is visible to all on my screen. But right now, because it was not instructor pace, so we uh, could not see the question. We only could see the scores. So now uh, I just tested, uh, uh, see, seen that how you are aware of what we are going to learn. So if you see, it was 47% accuracy coming. That means approximately 40%, uh, 45% content is known by the participants, but rest of the content is new. So we will be learning all this in our coming sessions. With this, now I uh, leave this place and I hand over to Ms. Nidhi for the further sessions. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, thank you, Dr. Monica. I hope everyone must have enjoyed this uh, quiz you must have found that this is a new way to take quiz of the students and would definitely like to use the same for the students. Now, I would, uh, first of all, would like to ask Dr. Pachi, oh, are you in the session? Okay, so give me two minutes. We are about to begin our next session. <laughs> Okay, so doc Dr. Pachi was already there with us. So I would like to welcome Dr. Prachi. Uh, she is working as senior academic consultant in uh, C at CIT and CERT, and she is going to take a session on digital resources for teaching, learning, and assessment. The different types and formats of digital resources with special reference to FLN, that is foundational literacy and numeracy, and adult education resources. Welcome, Dr. Prachi. Uh, thank you so much, um, Ms. Didi, for inviting me for this session. Now I would request you to proceed with the session. Yeah, sure. <clears throat>
Dr. Prachi is about to share her screen. Until then, rest of you can also switch on your uh, video. <coughs> Dr. Prachi, you are co-host now. You can share your screen. Yes, Ms. Nidhi. I'm sharing my screen. I hope my presentation is visible to all. Is my presentation visible, Ms. Nidhi? Can anyone confirm it? Yes, yes. Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, very good afternoon to all. In this session, we will learn what is uh, what are the different types, what is digital resources, and what are the different types of digital resources which we can use in teaching, learning, and assessments? So let's start. And uh, in this uh, five-day training, we will also learn the different formats and uh, of digital resources. And we also we will also getting to uh, an exposure of developing these different types of digital resources which will i'm going to show you which will i'm going to demo uh, explaining you so let's uh, start what is digital resources what do we understand by digital resources digital resources are e text videos audio voice narration music sound effect images and graphics singly or in combination to create a fictional or non-fictional media or multimedia narration. If we have any uh, textual content in the digital format, that is also known as digital resource, digital content. If we have any resource in digital format, so then that resource is called a digital resource. So what are the different types of digital resources? What are the different form of digital resources? Here you can see a list of different types of e-content that is mind map, map, simulation, audio, video, advertisement, interactive media, infographics, photographs, animation, cartoon, slideshow, timeline, diagrams, flow diagrams, charts, and graphs, and many more. So these are the some highlighted uh, uh, different types of e-contents. So let's uh, see what are these types. Mind map. Mind map is a diagram used to visually organize information into a hierarchy. Mind map involving writing down a central theme, central concepts, and thinking of new related ideas which radiate out from the central idea. I will show you example of these uh, types of uh, e-content. Uh, now I'm only explaining what are these types. And uh, uh, map, what is map? Map is a symbolic representation of characteristics of a place usually drawn on a flat surface. surface. So uh, map, uh, we all know what is map. So I'm not going to uh, much explain this type. So third one is simulation. Simulation is an imitation of the operation of a real world process. It, it's give a uh, simulation give us a near to real experience of any process. We will, uh, I, I will show you example for these 
types of uh, e content so audio video you uh, i think you must be aware about what is audio and what is uh, video advertisement uh, you all must aware about it what is uh, advertisement next uh, interactive media interactive media where we can interact user can student can interact with that particular resources that particular media we called interactive media like drag and drop fill in the blanks match the followings these are the interactive media because user are mutually interact with that particular resource so that is interactive media and uh, next one is infographics infographics are the combination of information and graphics when we represent any information with the help of the graphics and um, where some informations are put with the graphics that is a infographics and photographs so you uh, all know what is the photographs and the another one is animation so animation uh, what uh, animation is a method by which still figures are manipulated to appear as moving images so uh, that is animation animation gives a illusion of motion um, although pictures will be still but it's give us the uh, appearance of moving things that is animation so uh, cartoons uh, i hope you all are uh, uh, you all are aware about cartoon slide show slide show uh, you this is the slide show what i am uh, through which i am presenting my uh, i am presenting my presentation that is the slide show only and uh, another one is timeline so a time uh, timeline is a display of events in a chronological order when we deal with the chronology we use timeline so this uh, this is uh, when when we want to present any chronology and uh, any event sequences of event so we use timeline for that uh, particular concept and uh, what is a uh, diagram so diagram is a represent is a representation systematic representation of Uh, using visual technique when we uh, uh, present anything in systematic manner and uh, using uh, and create a visualization to comprehend that particular concept so that is diagram and what is flow diagram when we uh, flow diagram is a type of diagram that represent a workflow of the particular process and particular concepts and what is chart when we deal with the uh, graph is a basically graphical representation of uh, any data when we deal with the data when we represent any data so we use charts for that and graph is also uh, deal with when we uh, deal with the data we use uh, uh, graph to represent that particular data so these are the some different types of uh, e content let's see the example of these uh e content for better understanding so this is the mind map you can see this is an example of mind map whatever content you want to teach and you have a uh, and you have a various sub concept related to that particular concepts and you have a where uh, and you you have a idea how you will go in uh, how will go about that particular concept in the classroom so you can create a mind map to unfold the learning to unfold the that particular sub concept here you can see an example of common food group here is a concept in, uh, on which uh, this mind map has been created that is common food group so you can see the different sub concept are linked with this common food group that is vegetable fruits grains beans water confections meat and dairy product so these are sub concept which is related to the main concept and uh, you can further see for the sub sub concept related to that particular sub concept like vegetable you can see carrot broccoli mushroom and onion 
and uh, you can see the further sub 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 concept for these types of uh, uh, concept you can create mind map and you can unfold the learning in the classroom so this is an example of mind map so there are one uh, there are um, uh, lot of free and open uh, sources uh, open so uh, there are lot of uh, free and open resource uh, software to create these type of mind map this mind map has been created uh, by using uh, free plain software free and open software so we can create uh, these types of concepts uh these types of mind map by using different uh, uh, types of free and open resource software so next one is flow diagram i think there is some problem to open it i am opening it directly from my folder uh is pdf is visible yes it is visible the yeah. family tree chart is visible yeah. yes yes so this is an example of a flow diagram where some flow are required to represent that particular uh, concept here you can see uh, the learner identifies relationship with and among family members so rani's family tree you can see up the top of uh, uh, top of the this uh, flow diagram rani uh, rani and and his uh dadi dada nani nana and her, uh, her uh, parental uh, uh, grandparents and maternal uh, grandparents are shown in the figure so uh, we, because it's required a uh, some flow to uh, explain the relationship uh, among the family members so this is an example of flow diagram which we required a particular sequence and particular flow to Uh, to explain that particular concept and uh, topic so in another it is it is a sequence of uh, uh, another you can see the Sh uh, shalini's family tree so you can see the uh, relationship uh, dadi dada and uh, fathers elder brother tau ji tai ji and mothers brother mama mami and cousins because we cannot show all relationship in a single infographic so we have uh, split in uh, in, uh, in different uh, infographic and uh, explain the relationship among the family uh, members so this is the example of uh, flow diagram here you can see the raju's family tree and it is showing the uh, um, father's younger brother that is chacha chachi and mother sister mosi mosaji so uh, this is the example of a uh, family or flow diagram here uh, this is an example of timeline i already mentioned i already told you when whenever we need to deal with the chronology and we need to have timeline so basically timeline is a graphical representation of the uh, chronology and uh, so you can see the policy directions here and you can see the uh, what what are the initiative has been taken in these years so we when we are uh, when we want to represent any uh, events any initiative 
so we can use these types of timelines so this is the example of this is an example of a timeline and we can create a, a interactive timeline also this is a still uh, this is a pdf only so we can create interactive uh, timeline also so there are some uh, free and open soft uh, open source software by using this we can create these types of timeline or there are some uh, template also um, and we can use that tem those templates we can copy or edit our timeline as per our requirement or need so we can uh, this is the example of timeline the another one is diagram so you can see here uh, you can see uh, the example of diagram, uh, diagram where waterfall formation process are show, uh, shown in the in this diagram so uh, these types of concept like waterfall formation is a very difficult concept to explain um, by uh, explain in uh, uh, simple teaching a simple lecture method we cannot uh, student cannot comprehend that concept when we explain how waterfall form and how uh, because it's a process of uh, it, it's a uh, long run process to create a waterfall formation so by using these types of diagram we can easily explain the difficult concept concrete concept to the students and they can easily comprehend and understand and visualize that process when we use these types of uh, diagram to explain that uh, concepts in especially in social science and uh, history and political science uh, stream we can uh, uh, we can use such kinds of diagram to explain uh, different types of uh, con concepts here you can see uh, the example of cartoon so uh, here is an example of cartoon and we can easily explain such types of concept like the evolution of species evolution of species is a concept which is actually very difficult to explain to student and to teach to student and comprehend to uh, comprehend and understand so you can see here there is a picture hang on the tree on a, a jungle where a dinosaur is shown and it is written missing since a billion years and the other animal of the jungle is uh, now wondering watching the picture and thinking where this species has vanished so uh, concept like the evolution of species and the extent of the uh, species from this planet it is very difficult concept to uh, explain so by using this types of a uh, uh, cartoon or uh, pictures when we use in uh, in the uh, in the classroom uh, and uh, in the beginning of the classroom we can easily explain such kind of concepts in the uh, classroom and student can easily visualize and understand what we are trying to uh, explain so these types of cartoon or images these types uh, of cartoon are very helpful to uh, in, in the classroom to explain such kinds of uh, concept <clears throat> this is an example of comic strip using the cartoon uh, example of comic strip where the cartoon has been used to create this comic script and you can see kill uh, this is the comic strip is a based on the concept of kill the acidity which is a science concept 
and you can see a boy uh, is uh, feeling burning sensation in uh, in his stomach and uh, you can uh, you can uh, see the rhea i think you are suffering from acidity so boy acidity rhea yes if you have excess of acid in your stomach you may feel burning sensation so these are the cartoon and when we uh, when we play these cartoon in a sequence so it will appear uh, like a movie you can see here and they are discussing about uh, the, uh, his problem and why he is feeling this uh, burning sensation so ria is uh, telling about it and they introduce the epithelial cells also and how we can uh, here you can see the epithelial cells and they are also talked about the uh, um, functions of that cells what the functions of epithelial cell and what uh, when when we uh, cure that problem so uh, he is also uh, she is also uh, give us uh, how we uh, he, uh, he can prevent his problem and he, how he will get relief you can see here don't worry take a anti acid having milk of and it will give you a some relief so likewise these types of concepts here we can use uh, these types of comic script this script has been created by a powerpoint presentation when we uh, create all slides in powerpoint and uh, we can uh, uh, we can add music also we can add some dialogue also there is no dialogue in this is comic script uh, so uh, we can add uh, dialogue also and we can tag uh, we can uh, set the timeline time also for our uh, video and when we export this video when we save this video as mp4 so it will come out in a video format so these types of comic script what uh, we can create these types of comic script by your, by using powerpoint presentation and we can add music we can uh, add dialogue anything with that uh, resource so the another one is simulation as i already told you simulation give us a experience of near to real experience when things when when uh, you uh, for example here you can see the amoeba amoeba which is a single cell organism so we cannot see these this process the digestion process in amoeba we cannot see in the real world so uh, we can uh, by simulation we can see the whole process of di uh, digestion of amoeba so it's give us the experience uh, of real world so this this types of resources are uh, this type of resources are called simulation i'm playing it it is moving now you can see how the process goes how digestive enzymes are added and you can see the whole process of digestion
and this process we cannot see it is not possible for us to see in this real world so simulation give us a real feeling even we and we can uh, easily visualize that process even i'm showing you a uh, some another example of a uh, simulation here you can see a process of digestion and the functioning of large intestine small intestine here so a uh, simulation give us a experience of real functioning we can experience this which is not possible to see in the real world there is an app called a bio digital human so this is uh, this is this video has been uh, created by that app only so uh, you can install those app in your mobile phone and you will got to know the functioning of various body parts jaise like you can see here digestive respiratory brain heart eye ear so these uh, functions we cannot see in the real world so by using this these app we can explain such kinds of functioning such kinds of concepts in our classroom very easily i'm showing you showing you a, another example functioning of lungs respiratory function uh, system so you can see the labeling of particular uh, uh, part of the lungs so this is the example of uh, simulation now this is the uh, example of simulation uh, of science concept now i'm showing a sh uh, uh, simulation which is based on the social science concept so there is one app called qver you can see the name q u i v e r so uh, this resource has been uh, created by using this app qver q u i v e r so you uh, you can install the qver app then you have to uh, uh, in your mobile you have to first you have to install this app in your mobile phone then you have to go to your website where you can get the uh, sheets which are qr coded and which is the related to the various educational subjects and by scanning this we can create we can convert that image into the 3d image now you can you will get the idea i am playing it here you can see the sheet this is the sheet and you uh, you get this sheet from the website and you can see the name of that particular site qr and uh, you can see the qr code here when uh, after the installing this app you uh, when you scan this image by your phone from your phone so this uh, you can see the screen and on your mobile phone will get uh, this image will get read 
and after that it will convert it in the 3d image see that is a, a pro, uh, that is showing the process of volcano uh, volcanic eruption here you can see and these types of concept and these type of process which we cannot see in the real world but by using such kinds of uh, resources we can give a real experience to our students and explain the process very easily they also can comprehend and visualize that process This is an example of simulation. Here you can see an example of image. Image is also a uh, important resource which we can use in our classroom here you can see image on the screen it is a good for the learners who is uh, in foundational stage so you can see in this image we are a lot of kitchen utensils are hidden in this image and we can ask to students to identify that utensils we can uh, ask the name of that use, uh, utensils which we uh, which we use in kitchen and it's so it, it is a kind of gamified resource which we can use in the classroom and we can interact with the students they can mutually interact and the we can enhance the peer interaction also so the image is also a one of the good resource which we can use in the classroom and here you can see the another example of that uh, image where some uh, sports and play articles are hidden so such kind uh, of images can take a n number n number of learning in the classroom when we discuss about uh, uh, by using this uh, image we can discuss about the rule of different sports and we can also ask what are the games of their interest they can choose and they can explain about them and also we can explain them um, uh, in which sport india has won medal and win, uh, in various competition so such kinds of images um, um, images we can use in classroom and it uh, uh, also uh, it is well, it is well, uh, it can lead to an n number of learning among the students here you can see uh, photograph can also a good resource we can also make photograph a very good resource uh, for students so uh, we visited a lot of place especially amusement park and we uh, did some research on that so we can create a a good resource for the students first i am showing this resource to you
here you can see uh, some uh, animals and birds photographs are showing with li little researches here you can see the scientific name that bird alternative names that bird and if they have a have uh, migratory uh, habit so what is their habitat so likewise we can click some pictures and we can do some research on that and we create some interesting resources for students here you can see a blue bull and the scientific name of blue bull and their habitat Likewise, photograph can be used as good learning resources for the students. Here you can see the migration from where they migrate. Likewise, we can create a photograph. Uh, we can create photograph as a good resource to learner. I'm showing showing you another example. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. I am just uh, interrupting only to remind you that uh, only twelve minutes are left for the session. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sure. I'm showing you another example. This uh, learning from because every post post is strengths has. We can give the message of that particular postage stem. You can see here. This is the postage system, and you can see the date of uh, that particular uh, issue date of that particular postage system, and what the description of that particular postage system. So, likewise, we can or we can uh, use for postage systems photographs as a good learning resources to our students. so moving to the presentation so next one is animation i already told you what is an animation now we will see an exa uh, some example for animation animation on that uh, which is 
on the topic of uh, discovery of fire such kinds of concept like uh, uh, discovery of fire so it is not uh, possible to explain uh, verbally in the classroom when we are explain how uh, fire discovered so uh, a student may uh, not be visualize that complete process when we explain this so by using these types of animation we uh, we easily explain such kinds of um to, uh, concepts in the classroom there are lot of types of animation this was the uh, stop motion animation so uh, you will be learn different types of animation and how we can create these animation in um, uh, in coming sessions in coming days so this is uh, another example of animation hi friends my name is anjali let's talk about traffic signals We all see traffic signals when we are on the road. What do you think these traffic signals are for? Traffic signals help everyone using the road to know when they have to stop, wait, or go. There are three lights of different colors in the traffic signal. These are red, amber or yellow, and green. Each color has a special meaning. For drivers, red light means stop your vehicle. Amber light means wait, and green light means go. Pedestrians must only cross a road when the traffic signal is red. This is the time when vehicles have stopped to let people safely cross a road. Sometimes we see the figure of a man on the traffic signal. This signal is for pedestrians. When this man turns green, it means we can safely cross the road from the zebra crossing. When the man turns flashing green or red, we must wait until the man turns green again. We must always cross the road with an adult and we must hold their hand while on the road. So friends, always remember safety first bye so this is an example of animation uh, now we will see the example of what is interactive resources
this is uh, this video uh, is uh, developing for showing how interactive uh, resources will work so output will be interactive but uh, for presentation i have created in a video format tol kar bol tarajo par rakhe hue saman ko tolne ke liye utne bhar ke baat ko tarajo ke dusre palde par rakhe Here you can drag some weight and put it Dubara on the kare. surface. Bahut and you can achhe. check also. So user will interact this resource. In ascending and descending order. So you can see. We drag well the number and put on the ladder. Well done. Well done. Oops, you will be uh, learn how you can create well such done. kinds of interactive resources in coming sessions. There well is done. a lot of uh, open, free and open well softwares. Done. to create such kinds of well interactive done. resources well done and you can check also and we can create different types of interactive resources for various subjects occupation that, that that is based on english subject write the name of occupation in the blank space Here you can type the name, and you can get the hint well of that. So we can drag, drop, we can match, following, we can type. देखें और पहचाने. Clue को पहचान कर सही विकल्प पर क्लिक करें. शांग नाम की यह सभ्यता नदी घाटी के आसपास यहाँ के लोगों ने लेखन रेशम के कपड़े ईट मिट्टी और लकड़ी के भवन बनाने की शुरुआत की बहुत अच्छे so likewise we can create interactive resources for the students and uh, we uh, we have to analyze where we can use these types of interactive in we uh, want to use in pre lesson mid lesson uh, pre lesson mid lesson post lesson post lesson there are a lot of digital resources we can create much digital resources by uh, different types of digital resources for uh, students and we have to plan uh, accordingly where we can use uh, in uh, resources in pre lesson mid lesson and post lesson as uh, and you uh, have developed uh, you, uh, Um, on the based of the requirement and the based and of the uh, need where we can uh, use these types of resources so now i will show you a um, i will i will be uh, taking you through uh, for a while um, for fln content on diksha when you type in your browser diksha.gov.in you will get this page here you can see a page uh, nipun bharat mission foundational literacy and numeracy 
when you click on this explore button you will get you will land on the uh, nipun bharat mission vertical foundation literacy numeracy vertical here you can see a nipun bharat document document related to important document related to nipun bharat mission mission is housed here when you click on explore you will get the document here you can you here you can see the nipun bharat mission document here you can see a uh, nipun bharat flip book or relevant uh, document related to nipun bharat foundation literacy and numeracy you will be get, you will getting all resources here so uh, you can see the nipun mission videos here by clicking on explore you will get as they have not been provided with you will get the uh, videos related to that related to nipun bharat mission related to uh, fln resources here you can see accessing resources of uh, fln vertical of diksha so you can uh, also see the navigation video how you can access resources on fln vertical you can get the video here so all relevant video related to nipun bharat mission and foundation literacy and numeracy you will get the video here only and third one is you can see the regional workshop resources so uh, you can see the workshop resources here when you scroll down that you can get the about information about the foundation literacy and numeracy so here is the about information then you scroll down you will get developmental goal wise e content so uh, in uh, foundation and uh, in foundation literacy and numeracy we have three developmental goals that is developmental goal 1 that is children maintain good health and well being developmental goal 2 children become effective communicator and developmental goal 3 is children become involved learner and connect with their immediate environment so these resources are based on these uh, three developmental resources developmental goals here you can see from p uh, preschool 1 to till 3 class 3 we have uh, more than 2000 plus resources are housed in this vertical and the um, these all are resources is based on developmental goals so i'm showing you an uh, so um, at the last of this page you can see the courses related to fln vertical when you click on the explore you will land on the page where all resources related to fln vertical are housed here you can see the courses related to fln vertical here in uh, different languages also so now i'm showing you are some resources related to fln vertical when i'm click click on any class i'm clicking on uh, class 3 explore you can see some drop down are appearing here you can see developmental goal 1 2 and 3 some laksh are also here so i'm clicking on developmental goal 3 that is a uh, children become involved learner and connect with their immediate environment here you can see the first document which is appearing that is the key competencies of developmental goal 3 for class 3 so this is a document here you can get the idea what are the key competencies of the developmental goal 3 and on the right hand side you can see the list of developmental uh, you can see the list of learning outcome which is based on that particular developmental goal so here you can see the list of learning outcome which is related to math subjects and uh, evs subjects here you can see some coding is written this il 6.0 6.1 that is the um, learning outcome which is based on math subjects math subject and here you can see you can see the code codified evs 6.1 that is the learning outcome based on evs subjects so i am clicking on that uh, learning outcome 
you will get the list of resources which is mapped with this learning outcome so here you can see the different um, the variety of resources here you can see the worksheets assessment sheets video infographic and gamified resources so likewise resources are mapped with the learning outcome so i'm just showing you a one example of infographic i think there is some technical issue i'm showing you a assessment sheet here you can see a assessment sheet so which is the based on learning outcome identify simple observable features of leaf trunk and bark of plants animal and birds in immediate surrounding so you can see the questions which of the following does not have seeds and there are some options are given so this is the example of assessment sheets so this is the uh, fln vertical you can explore this vertical and you can create some resources for fln in english language in the in your regional language also so i am stopping here uh, is there any um, query question one question was yeah. asked uh, by few people but uh, that is already answered by dr prachi that um, the various apps used for animation simulation interactives all that will be explained in the coming sessions during this workshop if anyone else has any other query then you can ask you can write in the chat box also or you can directly ask <clears throat> okay since no one is asking any question that means sir uh, we can no, proceed ji main ek prashn puch raha sha sure, sir sha sure. uh, ji aapne abhi bataya ki wo regional workshop ke bare mein bataya abhi dekhe to कभी कभी रीजनल लैंग्वेजेस में और रीजनल रूप के वर्कशॉप कुछ नहीं दिख पा रहा है अभी साइड में सर आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट एफएलएन वर्टिकल ना हाँ जी हाँ जी इसमें रीजनल वर्कशॉप रिसोर्सेस की सर आप बात कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे आपने अभी बता रहा है ना वो साइड में जो कुछ दिख रहा है ना सर मैं अपनी स्क्रीन शेयर कर रही हूँ एक सेकंड मैं आपको दिखा रही हूँ आप इसी की बात कर रहे हैं रीजनल वर्कशॉप रिसोर्सेस सर हाँ जी उसमें अभी मैंने चेक करते समय वो जो कुछ नहीं दिख पा रहा है हाँ आपने एक्सप्लोर किया इस पे आप हाँ, देखिए हाँ सर रीजनल वर्कशॉप रिसोर्सेस में क्या है कि निपुण भारत मिशन जब हुआ था स्टार्ट तो स्टेट्स को भी इसके लिए ओरियंट किया गया था तो स्टेट्स ने जो अपनी प्रेजेंटेशन बनाई थी और अपना एक्शन टेकन प्लान बनाया था वो यहाँ पर है यहाँ पर आपको एस सच कोई रिसोर्स नहीं मिलेगा यहाँ पर उस स्टेट का निपुण भारत मिशन के लिए क्या एक्शन प्लान उन्होंने स्टेट में इंप्लीमेंट करने के लिए बनाया है और उनकी जो प्रेजेंटेशन उस वर्कशॉप में हुई थी वो यहाँ पर सर आपको मिलेगी हाँ ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है ओके 
So you will get the recorded uh, sessions. Uh, these will be uploaded. Presentation will also be uploaded in the CIT website after some time after this workshop. So that will be available. जी अपलोड करने के बाद और उसका लिंक भी भेजना है मेरे ग्रुप पर लिंक रिलेटेड टू दिस रिकॉर्डेड सेशन हां रिकॉर्डेड सेशन वो अपलोड करने के बाद वो लिंक वेबसाइट का लिंक मुझे आ, मुझे नहीं हमारे इस ग्रुप में व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में भेजे तो अच्छा है ओके सर वी विल डू थैंक यू एनी अदर क्वेरी okay so i think we can yes you will you will get presentation also you will get you will get a recorded video also both the things will be uploaded on the cit website the link will be shared <coughs> okay so now we can proceed to the break uh, yes now we are going to have a break of around 50 minutes so all of you have to return to the 